Chemistry and Information Technology from University of Mumbai. Currently, engineer Imtishal Ali working for Semtech as a regional project and business development from past 11 years for the various locations like Dubai, UK, and Middle East. He has always supported colleagues by his dynamic speeches. I welcome you, sir, for your precious time and sharing your knowledge with us. Finally, I welcome to all participants throughout the globe attending this webinar and we all core team members. Thank you for being a, such a wonderful audience and giving tremendous towards the support to Bulbarga Welfare Society. I hope all the audience will enjoy this session. Happiness, happiness bring a good health. Good health will sure help you to get your goal achievement for your career or for your education purpose. Please uplift the community. If community is well prepared, of course, our nation will be very solid. I hope you will enjoy this session and thank you. Have a great time. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Pajam Dr. Uh, Sir. Now I'd like to welcome uh, Mohammad Azharuddin for uh, uh, the introduction of our today's speaker, Indishal Sir. Please, uh, Mohammad Azhar. Thank you, Adil. Thank you, JDBS, for giving me this opportunity. I am Mohammad Azharuddin, working as a project control engineer in part in Saudi Arabia, and I am serving to JWS as a general secretary, Riyadh chapter. Let me introduce our keynote speaker for this webinar, Engineer Imtishal Ali Ansari. Firstly, he is an Indian national with an IT engineering professional. He is working as a manager for business development and projects at Samsotech Dubai. He is head of the Middle East, <coughs> Middle East, Europe, and CIS region. He has a proven record of more than 12 years in driving multi-million dollar revenue growth and providing visionary sales leadership in highly competitive markets. He has an extensive experience in hospitality, government organization, oil and gas, BFSI sector, banks, financial institutions, airlines and airport industries with Europe, Middle East and Africa market, especially in Poland, Switzerland, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, Germany, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt, Bahrain, Oman, Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, and the list continues up to 43 countries. With continuous traveling in these countries, including channel selling, direct selling, <coughs> with complete business development. <coughs> he is a dynamic and result driven professional with several awards winning accomplishments in his career. He has received several awards, such as Best Santo Knight Award in 2019 and Best Presenter Award in 2020 on the topic of lot computing, and in 2019 for the topic of emotional intelligence. In addition to his professional accomplishment, he is also passionate about giving back to the community. He is a regular volunteer at several nonprofit organizations. He is also a mentor to young professionals and committed to helping others to achieve their goals. I am honored to introduce Engineer Imtishal Ali Ansari, who previously successfully delivered webinar on blockchain technology. Now he will be presenting us with some valuable lessons about happiness. Hope you all will be able to learn and implement this successfully in your life. Over to you, Adil. Uh, thanks, Adil. Thanks for the comprehensive introduction. Now that uh, we uh, all know about the uh, uh, details of our today's speaker, Mr. Intishal Ali Saab, so without wasting any much time, I'd like to request uh, our speaker to please uh, uh, start this webinar. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Intishal Ali, over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank all the core committee members of uh, Gulbarga Welfare Society, Riyadh chapter. And especially Mr. Imdad Ali for running behind me for last three months to take this uh, session. So thank you all. Thank you for your nice introduction. Uh, moving on, uh, we'll just uh, 
dive into the subject. Can somebody make me the host so I can share share my presentation? Sure, just a minute. Yeah, sure. Okay, you can share your screen now. I hope you can see the screen. Yes. Yes, we can see that. Okay. Okay, uh, just uh, one note. Uh, please don't interrupt in between and whatever questions you have, we can discuss after the presentation. So we have a QA session as well after the presentation is over. So uh, my name is Imtashal Ali, um, as, as some nice words have been said about me, so I won't repeat it. I'm, I'm currently based in Dubai, working in Samsutech as a regional manager, looking after Europe, Middle East and CIS countries. Let me start with a small video. So this will be the topic. Are you happy? So I would like to play once once more. Just look at the stats. Shalbai, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. The the music is off from your side. Please check your. Okay. I can't hear the music. Okay, I'll stop sharing and again share it. Is it audible now? Yeah, it's audible. Yeah, it's audible now. Okay, okay. Sorry, some people have been joining. So I just need that. Mama. Some shocking statistics, as you can see, almost by year 2020, it's, it has been said that the second second highest burden of disease globally would be depression. And after 2020, you all have seen the level of depression globally has gone to another level. Now, before I begin my presentation, I just want to quote uh, one statement that we humans are not designed naturally to be happy. Instead, we have been designed primarily to survive and reproduce. So happiness doesn't come naturally, naturally to us. And one more thing, as a human, we have, we, have, we have been said we are human beings, not human doings. 
So happiness is all about state of, you know, being happy. Now, I would like to play another. Oh, let me first show you uh, this slide now. Everybody knows who he is. He is Albert Einstein, uh, the famous scientist. Uh, many of you know that he used to teach at Princeton University as well. <clears throat> so uh, one day, um, uh, he, was, he was writing the question paper, Albert Einstein, for uh, the second semester of his class. And, uh, uh, and his teaching assistant just came by and he just asked him, he just saw the question papers and he told, uh, Mr. Einstein, I think you have not looked at the questions. You have repeated the same questions what you have given in the first semester. So it's, it's exactly identical same question in this question paper and students will know the answers. So Albert Einstein replied, yes, I'm aware that the questions, all the questions remain same, but now in a span of two semesters, the answers have changed. And same way, I think happiness has also changed. The definition of happiness has changed. And what has pandemic done? It has redefined what we call happiness. Now, before pandemic, <clears throat> happiness was very easy to you know, define for us. A couple of fancy meals in a restaurants every month with family, family dinners, get togethers with friends, an annual holiday abroad, a better car, a better house, that sort of a thing. We tend to, you know, inclines towards these things and we th think that we are happy. But pandemic has actually changed the game. And the pandemic has forced us to look inward too for the happiness, not only outward, inside as well. So topic is for today, are you happy? So I'll just activate one poll. I, I, I hope uh, uh, you shared the link. I'll just share the link over here. I want you to go to this link and just vote. So the votes are coming in, so we can see the results are fluctuating. Around 40% people has said, 43 now, they are not happy. So I'll give another uh, 10 seconds. I can see on the chat as well, people are Commenting, yes, 50-50, happy. And I want you to uh, keep that poll open because next poll ke liye questions will change. So just keep that your browser or on your mobile browser, just keep that link open for the entire presentation. Okay, another five seconds. Okay, so moving on. As we can see that there are still 32% uh, of the people not happy, almost 30%. So let's, I think uh, uh, those 32 people, 32% 32 people should better pay attention to this session. It's a two minute video, two and a half minutes. What makes you happy in life? Well, we like playing tag, and also play hide and go seek. 
Settlers of Catan. Build Lego. My dog. I really love to swim and I. Uh, in that, can anybody become a co-host and add people? Yeah, we are, we are co-host. Everyone is will add. We are doing it simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, I, I will I will not uh, keep on adding. Okay. Sure. Thank you. I love going underwater. I think I laugh uncontrollably when I swim. Well, my mom tickles me in the armpit. I, I... I love it and I almost be. Food wise, anything chocolate? Chips and queso? Coffee makes me happy. French and Italian cuisine. Good cheese on bread? Farts. As long as I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't. I'm a 35 year old woman, I don't do that. <laughs> that moment when I hear my daughter laugh. Seeing my family happy makes me happy. My mom and my family makes me happy. Spending one on one time with my kids. They are some great individual people. Very happy when I was able to reach the United States as a refugee. I get really happy if I like pass a test or like get a good grade on a test. I love the program um, of Oprah. I would say going places. I can't stand being like tucked inside of a house all day. Taking naps. Big groups of my friends in one place. I live at the beach. The sun comes out. I walk on the ocean. My friend Elliot. I'm happy. I love it when I run into like an old friend I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> the conversation ends up going for like. You think it's gonna go an hour, but it ends up going like three hours. Living each day uh, as if I was uh, my, my youth. Being creative makes me happy. Learning new things. Making music is a pretty euphoric feeling. First thing that actually comes to mind is seeing other people when they're happy. I'm just glad I'm still around. I didn't think I'd make it this far. And what makes you happy? Hey, Mark. What, what sorts of things in life make you happy? I guess that's why I'm here. Hello, eh? Acha? Okay, so that was a video about, you know, different uh, periods of life, different ages, and what makes things happy. And you can see at the last of, last portion of the video where a person of 100 plus age, what makes him happy at that age? Everything, just about everything. Moving on. When we talk about happiness as a business, it's it's an $11 billion business and people are spending atrociously high on DVDs, buying books, seminars, self-help. Uh, if you take the stats almost, uh, by 2008, there were 50 books that were published about happiness and this has gone to almost 6,000 plus in the year 2020 and still going on. So you can see people are spending money to seek happiness. And even uh, Google Analytics show an uh, explosion in Google search for people looking for tips on you know, how to be happy. So uh, our topic uh, topics for today, the agenda is, uh, we'll look at why we are unhappy, what is happiness, the house of happiness, how we can stay forever happy, and the conclusion. So there are three different ways that we react to everything around us. This is this is the first one why we we are unhappy. <clears throat> and almost 99% of the people, average person goes through this on a daily basis. Those three different ways, one is wanting that means in order to be happy, I need to have something. I need to achieve something. Next is rejecting. Sometimes people think they will be happy if they reject certain things, if they reject things around us, maybe reject people as well. 
and the last one is zoning out wherein your mind you know is either stuck in past or it's very anxious and worried about the future let's see an example for all these three one by one so first is wanting now as an indian we have been brought up in a culture where we are told that in order to be happy you need to achieve something you need to have something maybe it's a new mobile phone maybe it's a new laptop new television maybe even in jobs promotions increment of the salary but happiness over a period of time if you take you will be happy for a certain amount of time but then things will become normal and then you will be motivated or you will feel that you need to achieve something more again to be happy second is rejecting now rejection can happen of the environment rejection of other people even we sometimes rejects ourselves as well like we you don't want to go to work it's 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 you are feeling so tired so that's you are rejecting physical environment sometimes when it rains heavily we don't want to you know uh, go to go to work or go to school go to colleges and sometimes we also reject other people where we are we are so judgmental that we are thinking oh this guy would have done this work better he is not doing his job properly and you are rejecting him so sometimes rejecting people makes you happy as well and also rejection of ourselves i used to do that very well because i was very fat i have lost a little weight but that that time i was so you know uh worried about my weight and all and this used to you know make me very unhappy last part is zoning out now this happens normally when you you know you are traveling or going to work or you have been given a task which is very boring or maybe you are waiting at the uh, doctor's office or any offices so sometimes you know you your mind goes into what regrets you have done in the past what mistakes you have uh, done in the past and then when you regret it you feel very unhappy same thing about the future you are worried about you know what will happen once you graduate from the college once how will you get the job how will you you know uh, things in life will go on whether you will find a correct partner for marriage so all this anxiety all this worry uh, that also is part of you know you being unhappy so let's let's uh, play a little quiz uh, uh, you can open the uh, link i'll just share the link again for some people who have joined uh, just now so same link you can go there and we'll start the vote now apart from you i have invited three monkeys to also be a part of this uh, quiz so they will also be voting so i'll just start with the first quiz so you can refresh the link and you can start vote and the votes will start appearing the link is in the chat box so the question is imagine that you are competing in an olympic game what would you prefer out of the following would you be okay to come second to come third or to come second last the pins position number 2 what would you like to come second to come third or to come second last so 64% people uh, would like to come second and i will take this uh, your votes and compare it with a general survey that has been conducted by harvard business school so i'll let you know what the survey says the correct answer is depending on you know uh, different psychologist and experts have given their opinion based on studies by harvard business school i see people have voted for they want they would be happy if they come second okay i'll give another 5 seconds I see only nine percent people are interested to come third. Okay. 
Nobody wants to come third. Okay, we'll see. We'll come back to this. Now let's see what the general population has said, and let's take the vote of the monkeys as well. So, in general population, they have said almost ninety percent people say they will be happy. They prefer to come second, eight percent to come third, and to come second last, two percent. And if you look at the vote, the monkeys because they have only the three options, so they have selected uh, the equal in equal proportionate. So uh, going by the votes, almost your votes are matching with the general population when you say uh, wants to come second. A slightly uh, opposite view to come second last because a lot of people, almost thirty people, voted come second last. Let's move to another question. You can refresh this same link and start voting. I'll just enable the questions now. So you can refresh now. The poll is active. So the question is, what would you prefer? Win the lottery and get ten million dollar tomorrow, or receive increasing payments like partial payments and get eight million dollar in total? Means, एक साथ आपको ten million dollars आज मिल जाए या कल मिल जाए या फिर partial payment थोड़ा थोड़ा करके यू गेट एट मिलियन Okay, I'll give five seconds. Wow, sixty-one percent wants to have partial payments over a longer period of time than getting ten millions. So oh, let's see. The survey says general population almost ninety-two percent people said that they will be happy. That they will prefer. To go with ten million in once, and eight percent have said increasing payments. Monkeys, as usual, they had two options, so they have selected one and the second one as well. Now, the third question. Now, this is very interesting. You can refresh the link and start voting for this as well. Hmm. You get to choose your salary, and you only care about your happiness. What would you prefer? I repeat again. I Hindi. Me bhi batata hu. Agar aapko apni salary choose karne ka mauka mile, aur sirf aap apni khushi ke baare mein soch rahe, you only care about your happiness. What would you prefer? You get fifty thousand dollars salary, and everyone gets fifty thousand dollars. Option B, you get fifty thousand, and everybody will. Get sixty thousand. That is ten thousand more. What you are getting, or you get forty thousand, and everybody else gets thirty thousand dollars. Option A me, ham apne liye bhi same chaate jo dusre ke liye chaate. Option B me, ham kam chaate aur chaate dusro ko zada mile. Or C me uska opposite, ham chaate ki hamen zada mile aur dusre ko kam. Wow, sixty-five percent of sixty-eight now almost wants equal. We'll match it with the surveys. Let's see, and then I'll uh, provide you with the answers. What the surveys have found out. Another five seconds. Okay, so four percent has said they want more. Others. Get a little less. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what the general population said. 
almost 60 percent that's the same as what you have pulled same salary for all of us even yourself a little less for you and higher that's almost 34 percent and six percent matching with the polls that we conducted you get a higher pay and everybody get a little lesser pay than them monkeys again as they has only three options so they've selected one one each now let's see the correct answer is as per the survey and as per the experts people will the people who comes third are more happier okay now why these are the pictures of people who have won silver medals who have come second you can look at their expressions faces they were competing that they will get first but ultimately they they were they came in second place and look at look at their expressions now you can you can imagine the people who have come third are more happier than with the people who have come second okay the next quiz answer for the lottery uh, the surveys and experts says that the correct answer is receiving incremental payments over a span of time people will be more happier than that now this study was done by harvard business school as i was saying because what they have studied they have you know given they have they have actually surveyed people who have won lottery or big amount so they receive that amount but over a period of time let's say after 5 years 6 years when they've spent those money they tend to become a little unhappy the level of happiness usually comes down and the survey says the people who have been receiving let's say 1 million dollar every year they are tend to be more happier than the people who have won the lottery now this can be this can be a conflict any people but this i'm projecting based on the survey and the last survey the correct answer is the option c which everybody has voted less because as a human majority of the people wants better things for themselves and a little little lesser for others oh, okay my. that's that's how the things that's how the, uh, the human uh, uh, nature goes wo band kar diya I would request to mute your audio, please. वो वीडियो भी बंद कर दिया मतलब हमारा फेस भी नहीं जाए अभी अपने को सुनने से मतलब है क्या Can I ask people to just mute their audio? Okay, thank you. another interesting study uh i called why we are unhappy is expectation gap sometimes our expectations exceeds our reality i'll give you an example there are three ways the expectation formation happens one is imagination one is those around us things that are around us and something is past let's see the example of first one is an imagination gap as i said imagination exceeds your reality give an example this is the picture of mona lisa <laughs> that's what you see on the internet that's what you you know uh, uh, have the picture on your phone or if you plan to go to the museum in europe to see mona lisa this is what you will imagine that uh, painting should be but in reality this is how you look at mona lisa in actual when you go to that museum so you see the imagination what imagination that you have for that particular painting ex is exceeding the reality because reality is something else same way we all go we all you know uh, but, uh, want to go to taj mahal and this is how we perceive taj mahal to be with with all its glory wonderful looking amazing eventually when you go there it will look something like this so as you can see sometimes you imagine a lot your expectations are too high but in reality things are not as what we have imagined and that tends to you know make you unhappy next is an interpersonal gap where you compare yourself to other people your reality exceeds others sorry others other people reality 
exceeds your reality. Let's say you are earning $10,000. Now, if you're living in a poor neighborhood, you will feel rich. If you're living in a rich neighborhood, that time you will feel a little poor. That depends on the realities and the comparisons that you have with other people. Now, let me stop here and tell you a short story. I was back in 2014, I was traveling in Europe. Uh, I was in Italy, in Milan. It was Christmas Eve. So I was there for the Christmas with all my business meetings. And I was traveling from Milan to Geneva. And I happened to be at the train station. Everything was closed down at the metro station. And I was really very hungry. At least I wanted my morning coffee. So only one, one coffee shop was open at that train station. And I saw there was one lady who was working there on a Christmas Eve when it tends to be holidays in Europe. And she was smiling like anything. She's serving co coffee to the customers. Almost four or five customers were there. So I went there. I ordered my usual coffee. And uh, uh, I was waiting for my you know uh, turn to serve the coffee. So. I, I was very curious, so I happened to, you know, uh, uh, went to that lady and I just asked her. She was, she was, she was preparing the coffee, so just, I just asked her, "How can you be so happy? It's Christmas time. You should be on holidays. You should be with your family, but you're still here and still smiling." And she told me that I love what I'm doing right now, that is serving people, and that's why I'm, I'm into this profession of being a bartender. Uh, sorry, being a barista, not bartender, sorry, being a barista to serve coffee. And, and she was very, very happy. She was like, I'm, 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 I don't mind serving people over here. Anyways, I can go and enjoy my New Year's Eve with my family. And she was, she was so passionate. And I was, I was so overwhelmed. I was so, I was so surprised that we as a uh, uh, maybe we, as a businessman or an employee or a student, normally we tends to get very upset. But here was a lady enjoying her work, enjoying her time, serving people, and that was making her so happy. Now, let us see what is happiness. Now, there is no one definition of happiness that I can, I can tell you about. There can be different, different definition. Many authors, experts have given different definition of happiness. For me, when I read all those, when I, I was preparing the presentation, I was not convinced with those definitions. So what I what I what I thought is happiness revolves around four things: your faith, your religion, your family, your work, and your community and social life. That's what I think. I can be completely uh, not 100% correct. But what I think, what I perceive, these are the four things on which your happiness revolves around. So if your faith is okay, your family is okay, work is okay, community is okay, you'll be 100% happy. If there is a slight conflict, slight problems in either four of these things or any one, one of these things, you tend to become unhappy. So there are four pillars of house of happiness. That's, that's where the happiness stand. One is being inspired, being abundant, being in service, and being aware. Let's see with an example what being inspired is. Now, being inspired is a state of well-being where you see and experience everything around you with a fresh eyes, as it is something very new. The best example are infants and children. You can, you can look at the pics, you can look at the videos, that they are so engrossed in their surroundings and they're looking everything with a very fresh eyes. They are very inspired. Maybe it's, 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 uh, it's the rock, it's th their pets, or some accessories that they are playing with. Now you can look at, uh, they are playing with sands. They are fully engrossed, fully concentrated in their own. And that gives them happiness. We, as we have aged longer, as we have grown older, this being inspired has gone out of our life. I'll give you an example. We, especially Indians, we are more judgmental. Okay, we tend to, you know, pass judgment. We judge people around us. 
maybe we can say that's a different way of you know doing things like i have seen people you know there is some people from saudi arabia i, I, I travel a lot or maybe from um, iraq where some of my friends said oh no they are doing this thing in a wrong way this is not the way this is how it, how it needs to be done <laughs> but instead of judging them look at them with maybe that's the new way or maybe that's a new and their way to you know do things to feel things to do things like how they perceive so look with fresh eyes to each and everything to be inspired that will create a huge amount of happiness inside you stop judging people that's what i would like you to you know take it from this presentation for this slide now another thing is being abundant now uh, one i'll just share a small story not a story it happened to me around 4 years back uh, my wife was i had a yeah, my wife and i went for a coffee and my wife generally you know she she asked a lot of questions so one day she asked me ki how are you so happy means for the time being she is married to me she has not seen me sad or any dull face i'm very positive very happy so she just asked me so she asked me what is this what is this what should one thing that i should do ya mai aisa ek aisi cheez kya karu ki i'll be happy all the time i told her being abundant urdu aur hindi mein kahun to being abundant ka matlab hai ki aap apne dil ko bada rakhe have a bigger heart have a big space be positive be optimistic and look around everything and see all the opportunities and possibilities which are there even if you or even if others don't see them you look the opportunities even in some you know challenges and problems that you face in life i'll give you an example this is a very classic example aap sabne dekha hoga uh optimism and pessimism optimistic people will say the glass is half full and pessimist negative people out negative people bolenge ki half empty hai now which one is right can anybody tell me from the audience bolo the pessimistic half, half full, full. one at a time one at a time both are correct depends depends on this visual, visualization that's a that's a safe answer very safe answer asan <laughs> asan answer diya apne no i want i want somebody to you know give a dip. or maybe if you look at a different perspective ko dusre nazariye se aap apna opinion rakhna chahte hai i have an opinion i'll share with you can i go yes yes please uh, i can say it is half full okay good koi aur nazariya kisi ke paas hai isko dekhne ka so it is a half full i want to make full up mm-hmm. absolutely i want to make it full absolutely absolutely you see the possibility you have the opportunity to don't crib about whether it's half full or half empty you see there is half space still left in the glass and you can fill it there are possibility you will get ample of opportunity to fill those glass and same is with the life aapko lagta hai ki aapki zindagi mein kuch cheeze nahi hai but there are possibilities you can fill your life okay so don't don't crib about yaar hamare paas ye nahi hai ye nahi hai ye karna it's okay you have the opportunity you have the possibility to do that and just do it with a positive mindset things will change so be abundant as i was saying have a big heart look at all the possibilities and the opportunities next is being in service now this is very simple being in service means a state jahan aap dusro ke liye kuch karna chahte hai without expecting anything in return aapko apne liye kuch nahi chahiye you are just doing it for the pure joy of doing that things people help in different different services people join a non profit organizations they you know they they help elderly they 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 make visits to the hospitals or you know uh, old age home so there are different ways where you can you know service people 
just for doing it for the pure joy of uh, happiness i tend to be uh, when i when i completed my engineering i i i was a ex professor in uh, mumbai and that was just my uh, i would i would not say that was my career but i just loved teaching and immediately after engineering i just started teaching people so that was my you know uh, being in service i would have got a good job i would have got you know at that time higher pay but just being you know in service i wanted to do that so i was i was teaching as well so you 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 all can take up any service you don't need to go to africa to you know help poor and uh, poor children and all you can start <clears> with this <throat> thing in 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 your life at your home at your community let me show you a small very interesting video uh, it was made by uh, a thai based company so it's a 3 minute video i want you to since it's in thai language so i want you to uh, see the subtitles <laughs> so that was a small video about you know giving is the best way of you know attaining happiness so moving on the last is being aware now being aware is a is a state jahan pe where you can see what you can experience and what you can't and in that moment of seeing it you feel deep sense of joy एक वेरी फेमस कहानी है हमारी मराठी की टेक्स्ट बुक में थी एलिफेंट एंड सेवन ब्लाइंड पीपल यानी दे वेंट टू वन प्लेस एंड दे सॉ एन एलिफेंट क्योंकि साथ के साथ लोग देख नहीं सकते थे दे वर ब्लाइंड तो ईच वन व्हेन दे टच द एलिफेंट लाइक 
one person he 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 touch his trunk and it resembles to him that usko laga ki ye ek snake hai ek saap hai kisi ne uske kaan ko touch kiya to aisa laga it's it's like a mat ek chadar hai kisi ne uske daanton ko touch tusk ko touch kiya daant ko touch kiya usko laga arrow hai kisi ne uske pairon ko touch kiya usko laga ki ye koi ek ped hai to different people experience different thing and in that moment being aware they feel a sense of joy feel a sense of warmth so these were the four things that uh, the house of uh, happiness stands on but is it enough the question comes is it enough kya hum ye char cheez karke hi happy reh sakte hain or is there any mantra or anything jahan hamara happiness stays for a longer period of time maybe throughout the whole life so the last part of my presentation is how to stay happy forever so there are i, I think there are four true pillars of happiness which you should practice daily to achieve or to stay happy forever one is belonging second is purpose third is transcendence fourth is spirituality these four are very interesting let's see one by one now what what means belonging now belonging comes from being in relationship where you are valued for who you are intrinsically yani log aapko value kare jo aap actual mein ho ha aap bhi dusron ko value kare you value others as well lekin some groups or maybe some team some relationship where where हमारे घरों में खानदान में वर्क में फ्रेंडशिप में कुछ लोग दे डिलीवर अ चीफ फॉर्म ऑफ बिलोंगिंग कैसे करते दे वैल्यू फॉर व्हाट यू बिलीव यानी आपका अगर ये बिलीफ है उनसे मैच कर रहा है तो ही आपको वैल्यू देंगे एंड ओनली देन यू विल बिलोंग टू देम यू विल वैल्यू इफ यू हेट सम वैल्यू वॉट आर यू विलिंग टू डू फॉर देम एंड दे वैल्यू फॉर वॉट यू अचीव so true belonging comes jahan par log aapko value de rahe hai who actually you are okay not you are trying to project ya aap kuch aur batane ki koshish kar rahe nahi belonging tabhi aati hai jab aap ko koi value kare ya aap dusron ko value karo as who they are true belonging springs from love it lives in moments among individuals and it's a choice and you can you can as aap choose kar sakte hai ki aapko kiske sath ye true belonging this true relationship aapko banani now i'll just give you an example jahan par aap dusron ki value nahi karte like agar kisi ne aapko salam kiya hai ya haath dikhaya hai aap you just walk by someone you don't acknowledge acknowledge their greetings aap kuch reply nahi karte agar aap se koi baat kar raha hai to aap apna phone check kar rahe you are not paying attention to the listener this acts devalue others aur jo belonging true belonging jo hum achieve karna chahe wo nahi hogi next is the purpose logon ko lagta hai purpose is not i'll tell you finding your purpose is not the same thing as let's see finding a job that makes you happy kuch logon ko lagta hai ki hame ये जॉब मिल जाएगी या हम अपना बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर देंगे तो विल 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 बी हैप्पी और हमारे लाइफ का पर्पस मिल गया फाइंडिंग अ लाइफ पार्टनर फॉर मैरिज बाइंग अ हाउस बेसिकली पर्पस इज लेस अबाउट व्हाट यू वांट देन व्हाट यू वांट टू गिव सो गिविंग इज व्हाट योर पर्पस शुड बी इन लाइफ इट्स नॉट दैट यू डोंट विश फॉर यू नो अ गुड जॉब और अ लाइफ पार्टनर और यू डोंट बाय अ कार यू कैन यू कैन एज वेल डू दैट एज वेल बट द सोल पर्पज ऑफ योर लाइफ is it about only these things finding a job making money finding a partner having children buying a house no purpose should be something more for example there are doctors that told that healing sick people is their purpose of life many parents as we as parents we have a purpose to raise our children so the purpose is 
the key to purpose is using your strength what are you good at to serve other people that should be the purpose of life it may be you know as i as i said just to have a give a good life to my children just to raise my children properly i want make make my children happy and this purpose is a day to day activity daily you can practice it now, transcendence now this is very interesting now transcendence if i define i i, I cannot define in simple plain english but uh, urdu mein kehte halat vajd yani aap kho gaye ho hindi mein kehte ha mantra mugd ho gaye ho yani kisi cheez mein aap bilkul khoye ho aapko koi disturb nahi kar sakta आपको वहां से कोई जगह ऐसी दुनिया में आप चले गए हो कि वहां से बाहर आना मुश्किल है दोज आर वेरी रेयर मोमेंट यू शुड प्रैक्टिस ट्रांसेंडेंस ट्रांसेंडेंस वेर यू आर अब द हासल एंड बसल ऑफ योर डेली लाइफ यू आर इन अनदर वर्ल्ड आप अपना योर सेंस ऑफ सेल्फ फेज अवे देर इज नो ईगो यू फील कनेक्टेड टू अ हायर रियलिटी और आप समय और वक्त का बिल्कुल ख्याल भी नहीं होता है when you are in the transcendent state i'll give an example for people transcendence come from writing kuch logon ko they are an artist they want to write something to jab wo likh rahe hote hai they are in the transcendent state because at that time they are not worried about aas paas kya ho raha and not worried about surrounding at all seeing an art or maybe painting doing meditation reading books creating music again painting and many more so this transcend transcendence comes from many things doing things like that a uh, simple bhasha mein hum use hobbies bhi kehte okay so cultivate a hobby of transcendence jahan aap kuch time ke liye maybe let's say 20 30 minutes of your day time daily aap kisi na kisi activity mein aisa kho jao ki aapko aas paas ka kuch sochna rahe and that will i'm 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 telling you that will give you an immense joy immense happiness and transcendence experiences can completely change you practice it let's say 15 start with 15 minutes daily it it's 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 absolutely worth and the last thing very important is storytelling hum sab jante we all love stories and this this basically you know will surprise many of you so storytelling don't tell other story you tell the story about yourself aapki kahani aapki life kaisi hai or when you start telling about your life it will better understand it will make you better understand how you have reached this place how you have become you yourself yourself this version because we are the authors of our stories and we can change the way we are telling them see every day life mein hamari kuch na kuch kahaniyan judti rehti hai on daily basis aap uske author ho aap usko change bhi kar sakte ho aap chaho to usko kis tarike se bhi bata sakte ho and your life is in just a list of events aap usko edit kar sakte ho interpret kar sakte ho and you can retell your story as well the last thing you can rewrite it as well there are different experiences we have all gone through life बहुत से टफ टाइम्स हमने लाइफ में देखे हैं बट वी हैव कम आउट ऑफ इट हमने उस पर चैलेंजेस को एक्सेप्ट किया बहुत कुछ खोया बहुत कुछ पाया बट दीज एक्सपीरियंस ये जो एक्सपीरियंस हमने किया दैट हैज एक्चुअली शेप्ड आर लाइफ सो इवन अगर कोई टफ टाइम है करेक्ट इट बाहर आए उससे यू कैन री राइट योर स्टोरी एंड यू टेल दिस स्टोरी अबाउट योर लाइफ टू एवरी वन डोंट स्टॉप यू टेल दिस स्टोरी टू एवरी your closer ones and tell the story to yourself as well i'll give you a short example for all these four things uh, in the picture you can see he is my father so in year 2015 he had a massive heart attack and he was advised to go the bypass surgery so and he was very worried so i just went we've just before the surgery just before he was you know about to go to the surgery room operation theater he was just thinking about us he was just thinking about his family because there where he belongs he wants to be there uh, for my family for my mom my two brothers 
and all his sisters and uh, brothers as well. So that was his sense of belonging. And when he was injected with anesthesia, he was just, you know, uh, uh, in an another state, maybe in the state of transcendence, where he was taking the names of our family members, my brothers, myself, his grandchildren as well. Because the purpose of his life at that time was to just to be a good father and a grandfather. And once uh, the surgery was done, so I asked my father, so uh, how was the surgery? Just, you know, you were about to face a death because sort of it was a very complex surgery with 5% chance. So he told me that, he told me these things. He was thinking about family. His purpose was to come back as a dad and a grandfather again to spend time with his family. He was taking our names. That's what he wanted. His, uh, his thought of, you know, thinking about all the uh, family members. And this is the story that he tells to himself. This is the story he tells to others, his friends as well, where he belongs, what is his purpose. And now he's in a transcendent state because he's a little Sufi as well in his, in his thoughts. So uh, one more thing that I want to add, uh, a very uh, uh, in interesting uh, stats I want to share with you. Doing nothing at all was a small, consistent effort. See, we take efforts for our studies. We take efforts to learn new things. We take efforts for our work as well. But what about happiness? Are we doing anything? Are we doing any efforts for our happiness? Are we doing now, just to give you an example, one raised to the power of 365 will give you one. No change. But if you do a little change, you make it 1.01, just see the results that you'll get. 37.71. With just a little change, 0.1 change or 0.1 change in your efforts to achieve those happiness. Just 1% more, and that little extra will give you 37 times stronger results. What happens if we don't take an effort? Let's say there is, there is a thing that we go into a negative effort. Okay. 0.99. If I make that effort 1% less, the results are 0 0.003. 0 .03, and that is 1,500 times weaker results. And this applies not only to the happiness, this applies in every walk of your life, whether it's your job, your learning, uh, your relationships, your, uh, you know, your family functions, meeting with family members, just make that 1% more and see the difference in the results, the stronger results that you achieve. So this was a, a very nice uh, calculation and analysis I wanted to share with you. Now, let me conclude my presentation. You are responsible for your own happiness. You can, you can become happy as much as you decide to be. Happiness is inside you. you. Don't only look outside. And happiness is a spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace, and gratitude. And I, I request all of you to focus on staying happy forever. Just Focus on your belonging, your purpose in life. Have a habit of transcendence and tell your stories. Nobody's uh, telling, you st telling you not to tell your stories. Just tell your stories. Let them judge what it is. You can rewrite your stories as well. And make small, very little efforts to achieve greater happiness. Next, I want to show you a small video. This is the last part of my presentation. Uh, this is from a, a movie clip, a two-minute video from a movie clip called Pursuit of Happiness. It's a Hollywood movie. Uh, this movie is about a father who has a wife and a, and a child. And he's in a, from a very poor background. It's very difficult to make ends meet. His wife also leave, left him. school. और वो छोटे मोटे काम कर करके कर करके अपना पेट पालता है अपने बच्चे का बट बहुत टफ लाइफ जी है 
बाद में उसको किसी एक बंदा मिलता है जो उससे कहता है कि यार वाई डोंट यू अप्लाई एज अ स्टॉक ब्रोकर क्योंकि वो सेल्स था उसने एक ने देखा कि यार तू ठीक है यू आर सेलिंग टेलीविजन यू आर सेलिंग रेडियो क्यों ना स्टॉक ब्रोकर बनता बट टू बिकम अ स्टॉक ब्रोकर एट वॉल स्ट्रीट जर्नल सो इट रिक्वायर्स एन एग्जामिनेशन दैट दे टू पास तो ये बंदा बहुत मेहनत करता है एंड फाइनली uh, उसका एक दिन पहले इंटरव्यू होता है अभी इसका फाइनल इंटरव्यू है सो जस्ट सी आई वॉन्ट टू टू फोकस ऑन दिस वीडियो एंड जी सी जस्ट सी द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ हैप्पीनेस ऑन इज फेस बिकॉज ये वीडियो मैंने इसलिए रखा है क्योंकि वी वी एज मोस्टली हम हम सब एम्प्लॉयज है हम जॉब करते हैं बिजनेस करते हैं तो हमारा पहला कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पहला बिजनेस वेंचर मे बी फर्स्ट जॉब सिलेक्शन दैट्स इज वन मोमेंट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू See it as we have all experienced in our life. It's a two-minute video. So uh, uh, you can go with the subtitle. I'll just hide the. Wear a shirt today. Um, you know, being the last day and all. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. But um, wear one tomorrow, though. Okay. because tomorrow is going to be your first day if you'd like to work here as a broker would you like that chris yes sir good we couldn't be happier so welcome was it as easy as it looked no sir no no sir it wasn't Left, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Oh, Chris. I almost forgot. Thank you. This part of my life this little part is called happiness so that was the climax scene uh, i i would request if you if you are watching movies please watch this movie the pursuit of happiness this was the <clears throat> climax scene of that movie i thought i so i just want to say one thing that happiness is like a rainbow you just have to find your colors happiness ek rainbow ki tarah hai bas aap apne colors dhoond lijiye with this i end my session and i am and thank you everyone uh thanks a lot inshallah sir uh those were some wonderful and wise words and uh, inshallah we wish and we hope that we can uh, utilize these ideas and these thoughts in our day to day life and uh, i'm sure that uh, our audience has a lot of questions like to advise in the beginning that not to interrupt so they might have a lot of questions so i request all the attendees to post your uh, queries either in the chat or youtube or facebook wherever you are please post your questions so that uh, our speaker mr intishal uh, sir he can you know entertain your questions please we have 15 minutes from now for the q and a session i request uh, ubed please uh, note down the questions from facebook and uh, i'm here to note down the questions from the chat right okay thank you
Any any questions? Any questions from any audience? Please post, or you can even uh, you know ask your questions now. Unmute yourself and ask uh, if you have any queries or any questions. Okay, I I have one yeah, question. Is one, from, uh, from, yes. So, Dr. Khaja Mundin asked uh, regarding how to deal with toxic toxic environment on workplace. Yani, आपके बोलने का सवाल ये कि हिंदी में बता देता हूँ मैं toxic यानि जहरीले environment में जहाँ office politics ज़्यादा होती है. I would just say, see, life में life is grey. It's neither black nor white. So, आप के पास ऐसे लोग मिलेंगे जो politics भी करेंगे, परेशान भी करेंगे. My advice to you is just ignore them. आप ignore करना सीखे. And as as I said, be abundant. Okay. अपने दिल को थोड़ा बड़ा कर ले. उनके लिए भी space ले ले. फर्क पड़ेगा. Yeah. अगर आप नहीं उनको तो सुधार नहीं सकते. जी. Yeah, yeah, good answer. A very informative session. Antesha Ali. Yeah, if you see the data regarding now in many infectious intelligence like healthcare profession or any other profession, they are leaving the their jobs environment. And given data regarding the depression in 2008, I think is the second leading cause for depression. So I want how to tackle the depression. I know I am a medical profession uh, in the construction and this thing. So what what are other things like? I find depression nowadays in children. Also. If you uh, if you remove the gadget from their hand, they they are going to be depressed and they are like uh, creaming on you, not eating food. It's become a global issue, I think. So uh, any other thing we can tackle this problem? See, uh, uh, there is no one stop solution for uh, all the problems you just listed out. One solution nahi hai. Hame different different cheezon ko different tarikhe se dekhna hoga. Now, as a doctor, your 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 profession is a noble profession. Okay, uh, I can I can tell you because I was a teacher, I was a professor. That is a noble profession. We don't worry about the money that much. ठीक है, ज़रूरियाते ज़िंदगी भी है, कस्बे माज़ भी कोई चीज़ है, तो करते हैं. But as I said, आपका purpose होना चाहिए to you know heal people. ठीक है, आपका job है. Apart from the job, you can you know uh, work for some non-profit organization. और जहाँ तक आपने बात की बच्चों की, हमारे घर पे जो environment है. आपने कहा कि बच्चे के हाथ में मोबाइल छीन लो तो वो रोने लगते हैं चिल्लाने लगते हैं खाना नहीं खाते वो गेव मोबाइल टू अर इन्फेंट आप छोटे बच्चों को मोबाइल दो ही मत इट्स नॉट नीडेड प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट्स विद आज फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू चेंज आर सेल्फ एंड देन यू टेंड टू चेंज द एनवायरमेंट हम क्या करते हैं हम सोचते हैं कि भाई हमने ये डिसीजन लिया है और इसमें अच्छा ही होना चाहिए सैड नहीं होना चाहिए डिप्रेशन नहीं आना चाहिए सर यू आर एल्डर टू मी यू हैव सीन द लाइफ मोर देन यहां मैंने देखी है As I said, life is grey. It's not black. It's not white. आपको हर चीज़ life में मिलेगी. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your good answer. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, uh, Mr. Hisham, कि तेरे someone is trying to make us feel low. How to deal with them? Uh, can you just elaborate with an example? Low यानी कि आपकी बेजती कर रहा है या कोई आपको यू नो परेशान कर रहा है आई थिंक मिस्टर हिसाम यू आर ऑन म्यूट प्लीज अन म्यूट एंड यू कैन जस्ट इलैबोरेट योर क्वेश्चन ओके ही मेंशन डिग्रेड ओके कोई आपको डिग्रेड कर रहा है जस्ट इग्नोर देम हमारी तो कुरान में अल्लाह ने मेंशन किया है कि इज्जत और जिल्लत अल्लाह के हाथ में है तो बंदे के अंदर ये कोई वो नहीं है ये हमारे ईमान का हिस्सा है कुरान में है तो खत्म एक किसी बंदे से हमारे कोई कोई बंदा बता के नहीं आपको बोलेगा कि आप गिर गए तो जस्ट इग्नोर देम और बस ये आयत याद रखे ना कि इज्जत और जिल्लत अल्लाह के हाथ में बस और कुछ नहीं अगर ये आपका ईमान है तो फिर कौन क्या बोलता है वो समझ में नहीं आता थैंक यू
I can't concentrate more on Okay, Shadman ne ka, I can't concentrate it, concentrate more and more concentrate on my work or reading or doing anything. What should I do to keep myself concentrated? <clears throat> See, normally I'll tell you there is a study ki ek insan kisi bhi cheez pe continuously 20 minutes se zyada concentrate nahi kar sakta. That's what the study says. Yani 20 minutes ke baad agar aap movie dekh rahe ho ya aap online mere lectures mein bhi pichle ek dhar ghante se ho 20 minutes tak aapka focus rahega uske baad aapka focus drift hoga. तो इट्स नेचुरल तो जब वो 20 मिनट आप अलार्म लगाए 20 मिनट्स का कोई भी आप एक्टिविटी कर रहे आफ्टर 20 मिनट्स यू गेट अप डू समथिंग हैव अ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर मे बी जस्ट थोड़ा टहल कर आ जाए थोड़ा वॉक कर ले अपनी सीट से उड़ जाए कम बैक अगेन एंड देन फोकस फॉर 20 मिनट्स सो दिस इज द बेस्ट वे टू यू नो डू थिंग्स मैं भी ऐसे करता हूँ 20 मिनट्स अगर मैं कुछ रीड कर रहा हूँ आफ्टर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आई मैं कुछ और मेरा कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड रखता है मैं अपनी जगह से उड़ जाता हूँ मैं शरबत बना के पीने लगता हूँ मैं थोड़ा चिटचैट कर लेता हूँ मेरी एंड देन आई कम बैक अगेन एंड फोकस ऑन नेक्स्ट 20 मिनट्स सो दिस इज 20 मिनट्स का अलार्म लगाए और यू डू वट एवर यू थिंग्स दैट यू वांट यू आर डूइंग ओके इंजीनियर अब्दुल हकीम ने हाउ टू डील विथ एक्सेस वर्क लोड प्रेशर स्ट्रेस ठीक है वर्क प्रेशर तो ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंपनी एंड द वर्क यू डू और कभी कभार ओवर टाइम के पैसे भी मिलते हैं सो व्हाट इज अफेक्टिंग यू वो मे बी ओवर टाइम करने से हमको पैसा मिल रहा है देन आल्सो वी आर हैप्पी टू डू एक्स्ट्रा वर्क वो स्ट्रेस भी हम झेलने को तैयार है ओके सो इट्स लाइफ में समटाइम होता है एक्स्ट्रा वर्क एक्स्ट्रा प्रेशर हमको भी आता है और प्रॉब्लम्स रहते हैं बट फाइंड अ वे टू डील विथ इट और ये पूरी लाइफ टाइम नहीं रहने वाला है और अगर आप उसमें ज्यादा खुश नहीं हो तो जस्ट क्विट योर जॉब आई मीन आई हेव सीन पीपल एक जॉब में एक काम में अटके हुए हैं अगर आपको लग रहा है फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम नहीं काम कर रही है जस्ट क्विट इट कुछ नहीं होगा आई कैन रिलेट लाइक मेनी पीपल इवन इन माई इन माई इन माई रिलेशन इन माई फ्रेंड्स सर्कल अरे यार काम छूट जाएगा जॉब चली जाएगी तो क्या होगा अरे कुछ नहीं होगा विल फाइंड अ बेटर जॉब डोंट वरी एट ऑल तो जस्ट क्विट इफ यू इफ यू डोंट फाइंड योर इनर पीस एंड बींग हैप्पी जस्ट क्विट इट फाइंड समथिंग find something which you want to do i mean that that should be uh, your your goal okay uh, mr zaki ne pucha hai i was recently working as project manager but due to some issues my company removed from the presentation and sent me back to same before but i feel that i failed in my job but what i have to do to cope up myself zaki bhai main aap se kahunga dekhiye again maine kaha tha life black and white hai hota hai ye issues hote hain <coughs> कभी आप डिमोट होते हो तो प्रमोट भी होते हो टेक इन टेक इट एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ग्रो अगेन गेट योर लाइफ बैक गेट योर डेजिग्नेशन बैक वर्क हार्डर देन व्हाट यू हैव डन बिफोर फोकस मोर ऑन हाउ यू हैव नॉट बीन फोकसिंग बिफोर थोड़ा मेहनत और ज्यादा पुश करो यू विल गेट वेर यू बिलोंग डोंट वरी और आप फेल नहीं हुए डोंट वरी फेल नहीं हुए कोई फेल नहीं होता है मैं एक इंटरेस्टिंग एक कहानी बताना चाहता हूँ uh, मैं रियाद में था ऑलमोस्ट बिफोर पेंडेमिक तो एक रेस्टोरेंट हुआ करता था मलज में जहाँ मैं ओकेशनली जाके आई यूज टू हैव माय फूड और उसके सामने वो अंकल ने अपनी ग्रोसरी भी खोला था अपने बच्चे दो बेटों को भी बुला के वो कर रहा था देन आफ्टर टू थ्री ईयर्स उसने सब बंद करके ही आपको पता है वो लॉ आ गया था फॉर द एक्सपेक्स डिपेंडेंट यू टू पे सम फीस ईयरली एनुअल फीस उन्होंने फैमिली भेज दिया अब फैमिलीज ही चली गई सऊदी अरेबिया से तो रिटेल बिजनेस अफेक्ट हो जाता है उनका रेस्टोरेंट बंद सब तो एक दिन ऐसे बैठे थे बंद करने का टाइम था आई वॉज हैविंग लास्ट मील है उनके साथ तो उन्होंने बोला इंतजाल यार मैं तो बर्बाद हो गया मैं नाकाम हो गया आई एम अ फेलियर फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स इन सऊदी अरेबिया मैंने उनसे कहा आप फेल नहीं हुए आप अपने आप को फेलियर समझ क्यों रहे बोले यार पंद्रह साल दिए कुछ नहीं हासिल हुआ मैं बोला आपका मुल्क पाकिस्तान आपके पास है ना यू हैव योर कंट्री ये तो एक अपॉर्चुनिटी थी आपके पास पंद्रह साल बीस साल पहले आप सऊदी आ गए यहाँ पे काम किए अगर यहाँ पे अगर आपका ठीक है नहीं कर पाया तो आप अभी फेल नहीं हुए लाइफ में ये तो अपॉर्चुनिटी थी जो अपॉर्चुनिटी चली गई यू स्टिल हैव योर कंट्री आपका देश आपका मुल्क अभी भी आपके पास है आप वहां जाके भी कुछ कर सकते तो अगर यहाँ नहीं बन रही गो बैक स्टार्ट फ्रेश कुछ करे यूल बी सक्सेसफुल अगर हमने पहले ही मान लिया कि अरे यार सऊदी में ही हम फिट गए हम फेल हो गए या मैं सोच रहा हूँ यार दुबई में भी मैं फेल हो गया और मेरे को यहाँ से लात मार के भगा दिया गवर्नमेंट ने फॉर एनी रीजन 
तो मैं अपने आपको फेलियर नहीं समझूंगा आई विल टेक ओके जितना टाइम कटा उतना ठीक है आई विल टेक माई एक्सपीरियंसिस माई माई वट एवर थिंग्स आई हैव लर्न एंड आई गो बैक एंड स्टार्ट माई लाइफ अफ्रेश सो डोंट वरी यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रेश इन एनी पॉइंट ऑफ योर लाइफ ओके सैयद जुबैर अहमद ने पूछा है वॉट यूल एडवाइस फॉर पीपल हु आर वर्किंग गल्फ कंट्रीज में जो काम कर रहे हैं एज देर आर डिफरेंट कंट्रीज पीपल हेयर एंड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल वॉट इज योर एडवाइस सी आई टेल यू बिकॉज आई ट्रेवल फिफ्टीन डेज टू सऊदी ऑलमोस्ट ट्वाइस अ मंथ मैं दुबई में भी रहता हूँ आई ट्रेवल ऑल जी सी सी आई हैव बीन टू यूरोप आई हैव बीन टू यू नो सी आई एस कंट्रीज रशिया एंड ऑल आई टेल यू वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम विथ आज इंडियन इज मैंने पहले भी कहा हम इंडियंस और स्पेशली फ्रॉम इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंटल पाकिस्तान श्रीलंका बांग्लादेश हम लोग जजमेंटल बहुत है हर चीज को अपने अपने चश्मे से जज करने लगते हैं कि हमें क्या दिख रहा है सो माई एडवाइस अगर कोई ऐसा है अरे भाई वो पाकिस्तानी है वो पठान है वो बंगाली है वो है वैसा डील विथ इट एक्सेप्टिव डोंट ट्राई टू यू नो उसको अपनी तरह अपने कल्चर अपने तरीके में ढालने की कोशिश मत करो दैट्स अ वेरी रॉन्ग वे एंड आई वु टेल यू मैंने यूरोपियंस के अंदर ये बहुत चीजें देखी यूरोपियंस एंड अमेरिकन वेन आई मीट दैम वो लोग किसी को जज नहीं करते दे डोंट मॉरली जज यू वो सीधा बोलते हैं यार हो सकता है उनका अपना तरीका है मे बी दैट्स द बेटर वे फॉर दम हमको भी यही होना है स्टॉप जजिंग पीपल आप सब चीजें ऑटोमेटिकली हैंडल हो जाएगी तो सैयद जुबैर के बारे में बता दू माई वाइफ माई वाइफ इज पाकिस्तानी आप सोचो मैं कैसे हैंडल करता हूं करेक्ट आई थिंक आई थिंक ओके जस्ट रिमाइंडर वी वी हैव गॉट टू मोर मिनट्स वी कैन जस्ट कंक्लूड द सेशन फॉर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स वी हैव अ वेरी शॉर्ट विंडो एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन मोहम्मद इशाम भाई की तरफ से है व्हाट इज ट्रू हैप्पीनेस इन लाइफ इट्स क्वाइट जेनेरिक क्वेश्चन ट्रू हैप्पीनेस इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम पीपल टू पीपल हम uh, ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते कि भाई दिस इज ये करने से हैप्पीनेस ट्रू हैप्पीनेस मिल जाएगी हैप्पीनेस मैंने कहा आपका फेथ आपका मजहब आपका रिलीजन आपका वर्क आपकी फैमिली और आपकी कम्युनिटी ये चार क्वाड्रेन पे चलता है दिस आर द फोर थिंग्स दैट डिफाइन योर हैप्पीनेस तो कोशिश करें ये चारों चीज स्टेबल रहे आपका उसमें प्रॉपर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रहे एंड यू विल अटेन ट्रू हैप्पीनेस इन लाइफ फेसबुक सॉरी यूट्यूब पे भी दो क्वेश्चन है I'll just answer them. Uh, one guy, Akif Soil, ne bola hai ki he works in Qatar as site engineer. He's from Shahabad. I feel really sad as I can't find a job in my hometown. Staying away from family and friends. Alhamdulillah, I have a good job. But just so, ये तो common है हमारे बीच में uh, Akif sir कि हम सब अपना अपना मुल्क छोड़ के अपने परिवार को छोड़ के यहाँ पे कर रहे हैं. लेकिन मैं एक चीज I'm I'm a very uh, avid reader of history. मैं आपको बताऊँ हिंदुस्तान का मुसलमान प्रोग्रेस किया है तरक्की किया है जब गल्फ का रास्ता खुला है सिक्सटीज सेवेंटीज एटीज में तो दिस इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी अल्लाह की तरफ से ये रास्ता खुला और हिंदुस्तान का मुसलमान तरक्की किया है वरना उससे पहले के हालात यू कैन आस्क योर ग्रैंड फादर्स एंड इवन यू नो ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर्स आप अपने फादर्स से पूछो मुसलमान के हालात क्या सो टेक दिस गल्फ कंट्रीज एस एन अपॉर्चुनिटी डोंट फील सैड अरे अंग्रेजों अंग्रेजों पर आज हम इतनी बात करते हैं उनको उनके लेवल को ऊंचा मानते हैं अरे दे लेफ्ट देयर कंट्री एंड केम टू इंडिया वो हम पे राज करने नहीं आए थे वो बिचारों के पास दे डोंट हैव अ फर्टाइल लैंड उनकी जमीन में कुछ उगता नहीं था वो यहाँ आते थे कब्जा करके बैठे यहां से पैसे अनाज वो इंग्लैंड बेचते थे तो उन्होंने भी अपना मुल्क छोड़ा है भाई तो टेक इट एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी डोंट फील सैड बी इन द सोशल लाइफ मेक फ्रेंड्स वक्त कट जाएगा फर्स्ट सिक्स मंथस वन ईयर टू ईयर्स टफ होता है मैंने भी फेस किया लास्ट क्वेश्चन है कोई मिस्टर अज्जू इज इट मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू फोकस ऑन हैप्पीनेस और बीइंग रिस्पॉन्सिबल 
<clears throat> see you cannot you cannot be you know irresponsible responsibility you have to take care you focus on your responsibilities what you have list out apni responsibility ko likh lijiye aur happiness ke liye kuch kar utna zyada focus karne ki zarurat nahi you just be happy so being happy is the state which you have to be and plus with being responsible irresponsible honge to log jhagda karenge aap problems face karoge and that will attain unhappiness so that that was two uh, questions from uh, youtube so any more questions or we i'm done with any questions from facebook or instagram imdad mr adil no no i don't think so we don't uh, we are almost okay. done here uh, okay i think let's move to, uh, to the next level is there someone asking anything no we can continue the, the, okay okay बात करेगा मैं प्लाट के बारे में बात करता हूँ बिजापुर बिजापुर क्या बोलूटिकेशन एनी वे लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट या सो uh thanks a lot uh, in kushal sir i think there was this was a very great and wonderful session and a quick q and a session uh, shared with you uh, any we had a few more clarity in this q and a session as well so moving ahead uh, i'd like to request uh, gulbarga welfare society riyadh chapter president for uh, the presidential speech uh mohammad imdad ali please uh, over to you uh thank you adil बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम। <laughs> that we have conducted previously uh, one seminar first seminar on the career in it it was a very successful event and the second uh, session was the blockchain the next era of internet uh, it was delivered by our uh, same speaker brother intichal ali alhamdulillah the third session which we have conducted it was the on importance of artificial engineering and machine learning uh, this was a very uh, informative session if you want to Uh, get more detail about uh, about it so you can watch our uh, youtube channel gulbarga welfare society uh, and inshallah alhamdulillah uh, in the future also we are trying to conduct some similar types of session uh, and gulbarga welfare society is trying its level best to uplift the society irrespective of caste and creed uh, by connecting the knowledge seekers with the industry experts and gulbarga welfare society is currently concentrating on educating the society uh, we bring with different uh, knowledgeable topics uh, especially for gulbargavis and people around the world uh, we adopt a best implementation plan for the student mentoring uh, the best possible choices to help them to grow their career and we adapt be uh, best respect <laughs> career guidance to these students uh, we discover the new ideas Uh, new ideas to educate uh, the community and we try our uh, we try as a connecting bridge with the knowledge seeker students uh, and with the industry experts uh, to fill uh, this gap uh, of the theoretical and the industry operation how it works we are uh, acting as a connecting bridge so we professionals uh, working in the gulfs we have lot of experienced candidates here we have lot of knowledgeable persons resource persons so we find out that resource person and we bring it Uh, to, uh, to our platform so that the students and the uh, community get benefited from this so this time uh, we come up with a general topic called are you happy uh, we feel this is our social responsibility uh, to make people happy and to understand the real meaning of happiness the real power of happiness uh, if, if a single person uh, from this session find out the real meaning uh, real power of happiness inshallah he or she can make hundreds 
of people happy around it, around him or her. Uh, mashallah, we have uh, we have seen a very positive uh, and very inspiring presentation by Engineer Imtisal Ali. I thank him uh, for his valuable time uh, for the social service that he is giving to the, to the community. Thank you very much, uh, Imtisal Bhai. Uh, and uh, we uh, we we what the message which I want to deliver it from this platform is that we need to educate each others. That must be a rule of life. I am not telling we should. I am telling we must. We must educate each other. That must be a rule of life. And uh, Gulbarga Welfare Society want everyone to be social. You, me, and all we all have some social uh, responsibility. We have to understand our social responsibility. Uh, you can say someone has the power. Uh, to uplift uh, his uplift or educate his own family uh, someone has the power to educate uh, the group of families uh, someone has the power uh, to uplift and educate the community a society in fact uh, the in fact this upliftment indirectly helps in helps uh, the nation to grow with high perspectives uh, so uh, the future of the city and the nations everything is depend upon you so be happy uh, and just find out your power uh, of happiness, just find out your powers and always be a helping hand. And uh, always be a helping hand, whatever, whatever you can do it, just do it. It will impact in your life and in the society also. Uh, we have conducted uh, during the during the registration process, I have conducted uh, one survey. Uh, I have asked one question uh, to the registration candidates that are you willing to be a social volunteers or a social, uh, are you interested or willing to be a social volunteers? So, so I just want to share you uh, the result. 49% of that audience say, yes, they want to be a social volunteers and uh, they want to work on social cause. And 7% say no. And 34% uh, uh, says maybe. And they are almost near to yes, maybe. Uh, and 10% say they don't have any idea. So nobody reached to them. So if you consider, uh, yes, 49 and maybe 34. If I'm not wrong, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, 83 percentage, and you can say uh, average of 80 percentage of our community, they want to be social. They want to, uh, they want to participate in social cause, but they are not uh, understanding their power. They are not getting into the social platforms. So from this platform, I request everyone uh, to join any social organization they want, any social cause they like it. Uh, I would like to say that you can join any organization where you get happy. If you get happy, if you put a tree or a tree, you can join that organization that you want to change the city of Gulbarga to greenery. If you have any city that you keep in the city of Gulbarga, if you get happy in the city of Gulbarga, मसाकिन मिसकिन को खाना खिलाएं तो आप उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को ज्वाइन कीजिए जो ये इस काम में बढ़चढ़ के हिस्सा लेती यानी आप अपनी अपनी खुशी को देखिए अगर आपको खुशी मिलती है कि किसी एजुकेशन एजुकेट करें सोसाइटी को या अगर आपको अगर आप समझते हैं कि आपको खुशी मिलती है किसी की जान बचाने के लिए या ब्लड डोनेट करने के लिए या अगर आपको खुशी मिलती है किसी हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ के डिस्प्यूट्स को रिजॉल्व करने में या प्रॉपर्टी डिस्प्यूट्स हैं हमारे معاشرے में या मैरिज के इश्यूज हैं uh, गरीब लड़कियों की शादी करने के लिए अमाउंट्स की हमेशा जरूरत होती है हेल्थ रिलेटेड इश्यूज हैं यानी आपका जहां पर इंटरेस्ट है आप जहां पर भी आपको खुशी मिलती है उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से आप जुड़िए uh, क्योंकि इंडिविजुअली हर कोई कुछ ना कुछ करता है लेकिन मेरी ये अपील सारे लोगों के लिए है कि आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से जुड़िए क्योंकि इجتماعیت में अल्लाह अल्लाह ताला ने बरकत रखी है so, uh, हो सकता है uh, इतने 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 uh, मुआशरे में काम करने के लिए हम हम इतने आइटम्स ओपन इतने सेक्शंस ओपन हैं इतनी चीजें हमें काम करने के लिए लेकिन वॉलंटियर्स की बहुत कमी है यानी मैं इस प्लेटफॉर्म से आपकी खुश आप अपनी खुशी से सोशल वॉलंटियर्स की तरफ आइए सामाजिक कामों में हिस्सा लीजिए किसी शायर ने क्या खूब कहा है शिकवाए जुल्मत शब से तो बेहतर था अपने हिस्से की शमा जलाते जाते तो सो अल्लाह अल्लाह सुभान व ने भी सूर्य आले इमरान ने हम हम लोगों को एक बेहतरीन उम्मत कह के नवाजा यानी इतनी खुशी की बात है कुन तुम खैरा उम्मती उखरजिदल الناس यानी तुम बेहतरीन उम्मत हो जो लोगों के लिए निकाली गई है 
یعنی اگر آپ سوشل سروس کو خدمت خلق کو اس آیت سے سمجھیں گے تو اس کی بڑی اہمیت ہے یہ یہ نبیوں کی سنت رہی ہے یہ ہمارے اولیاء اور بزرگان دین کا طریقہ رہا ہے ہمارے اسلاف کا طریقہ رہا ہے گلبرگا ویلفیئر سوسائٹی کا مقصد یہ کوئی نیا مقصد نہیں نہیں ہے یہ ہمارا مقصد زیادہ سے زیادہ لوگوں کو سماجی کاموں میں حصہ لینے کے لیے ہم بڑھاوا دینا چاہتے ہیں جو آپ کوئی بھی ادارے سے جڑیے کوئی بھی آپ مال دینا ہی کافی نہیں ہے اپنا علم اپنا وقت اور اپنی صلاحیت سماج کی بھلائی کے لیے دیجیے ہم کو ایک دوسرے کو فائدہ کر کیسے کرنا ہے یہ سوچنا ہوگا ہم سب کو مل کے آگے بڑھنا ہوگا یہ ہمیں ضرور سوچنا ہے ایک دوسرے کے ہم ہیلپ کریں اور ان شاء اللہ تعالی اسی زمن میں آنے والے فیوچرز میں بھی ہم لوگ امید ہے دو اور سیشن کریں گے جو میں آپ کو بتاتا چلا ہمارے دو دن کا ایک ورک شاپ ہے سیون ہیبٹ آف ہائیلی افیکٹو پیپل ہمارے جو فیوچر پلان ہے ایک دو ورک شاپ ہے سیون ہیبٹ آف ہائیلی افیکٹو پیپل بائی محمد شمس قمر صاحب یہ ڈیلیور کریں گے یہ ٹو ڈیز ورک شاپ ہے جس میں آپ لوگ اپنا انٹرسٹ انٹرسٹیڈ کینڈیڈیٹس ہمیں کانٹیکٹ کریں جوائن کریں اور ایک ایک ہمارا موضوع ہے جو ہم کرنا چاہتے ہیں ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ اس پہ بھی کام کر رہے ہیں ہاؤ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے فارم ان انڈیا واٹ آر دا کمپلائنس ریکوائرڈ واٹ آر دا لیگل ڈاکومنٹس ریکوائرڈ جی ایس ٹی وتھ ریسپیکٹ ٹو دیٹ پارٹیکولر فارم وتھ ریسپیکٹ ٹو جی ایس ٹی انکم ٹیکس اور آر او سی تو ایک اس طریقے کا ورک شاپ ہم کرنا چاہتے ہیں تاکہ لوگوں کو فائدہ ہو لوگ جو ہے نا کچھ بزنس بزنس سیٹ اپ کر سکیں کچھ اسٹارٹ اپ کر سکیں تو ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ امید ہے کہ آپ بڑھ چڑھ کے اس میں حصہ لیں گے اور اور بھی ایک بہت ہی اہم اناؤنسمنٹ بھی مجھے کرنا ہے آج کے ہمارے کی نوٹ اسپیکر انجینئر امتشال علی کو گلبرگا ویلفیئر سوسائٹی کی جانب سے ایک مومنٹو اور اور سرٹیفکیٹ ایز اے ٹوکن آف اپریشیشن دیا جا رہا ہے میں گزارش کروں گا یہ میرے پاس سرٹیفکیٹ ہے انشاءاللہ جب بھی ملاقات ہوگی امتصال بھائی سے تو انہیں یہ سرٹیفکیٹ اور مومنٹو تحفتن ہماری طرف سے دیا جائے گا انشاءاللہ اور آپ کی سروس قابل اعتراف ہے قابل تعریف ہے امتصال بھائی جزاک اللہ خیر آپ نے ہمیں قیمتی وقت دیا بہت بہت شکریہ تھینک یو سو مچ تھینک یو سو مچ یہ میرے پاس یہ مومنٹو ہے تھینک یو تھینک یو اللہ اس پروگرام میں شرکت کیے بہت بہت شکریہ آپ حضرات کا اور یقیناً سوشل والنٹرس کی میں بات کرنا بات کیا ہوں تو میں اپنی کور کمیٹی کے بارے میں بھی اپنی ایگزیکٹو ٹیم کو بھی قابل وہ اعتراف ہیں ان کے بھی خدمات کیونکہ پچھلے سالوں کئی سالوں میں ہم لوگ چار سیشن کرے ہیں ان کے سپورٹ کے بغیر یہ ناممکن تھا اور یہ یہ ٹیم میری کافی اپنا وقت اور اپنا علم بہت کچھ سیکریفائز کر کے فیملیز کے ساتھ بڑھ ہمارے اس کاموں میں بڑھ چڑھ کے حصہ لیتے ہیں ہمارے عزیز مختار جاگیزار اور محمد اظہر اور ڈاکٹر خواجہ محین الدین حشام الدین بھائی تمیم الحسن عارف بھائی اور عبید گوٹری شیخ محسن اور آج کے ہمارے اس پروگرام کے اینکر عادل علی اور ان سب کا میں بہت شکر گزار ہوں کہ آپ لوگوں نے اس کام میں مجھے اور کمیونٹی کو سپورٹ کیا جزاک اللہ خیر اور بالخصوص ہمارے آج کے ہمارے گلبرگا ویلفیئر سوسائٹی کے چیف پیٹرن جناب سید ناصر خوشی صاحب جن کی گائیڈینس میں یہ سارا پروگرام آرگنائز کیا گیا ہے اور ہمارے سرپرست ہیں ہمارے استاد محترم ہمیشہ ہمت افزائی کرتے ہیں نوجوانوں کو اس اس تنظیمی کاموں میں بڑھ چڑھ کے حصہ لینے کے لیے آگے کرتے ہیں میں یہاں پر اپنی بات کو ختم کرتا ہوں جزاک اللہ خیر تھینک یو ایوری ون السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ماشاء اللہ work throughout the, this year as well as our previous webinars and sessions and uh, that was I think a wonderful